Welcome back to this Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. In this part we will learn more about what contests are and we will also compete in a contest. Participating in Pokemon contests is not required to complete the game and the whole concept of Pokemon contests is more of a side quest primarily aimed at keeping small children entertained. Nevertheless, contests can be both fun and challenging, even for the more adult players. In order to be able to compete in a contest you must first obtain the Pokeblock case from the reception counter. Next you need to make Pokeblocks from your berries to increase the condition of your Pokemon, which will improve that Pokemon's chances of winning a contest. Go over to one of the berry blenders, start up the blender and select the berry from your bag. The nature of the Pokemon you are intending to use is important as that will determine whether the Pokemon likes or dislikes the Pokeblock. Check the berry tag or Bulbapedia to see what flavor the different berries have and then check Bulbapedia's article on nature to see if the nature of your Pokemon matches with the flavor of the berry you intend to use. When the berry blender starts spinning you must press the A button when the arrow passes by your marker. The blender will eventually go faster and faster. When the red bar at the top of the screen is full the blender will stop and you will get a Pokeblock. You can only feed a Pokemon a limited number of Pokeblocks and it can eat a few Pokeblocks that have a high feel. There are 5 different contest categories and 5 different contest stats for each Pokemon. Cool, Beauty, Cute, Smart and Tough. I'm intending to register Swellow in a Smartness contest since it has 2 moves that are well suited for such a contest. I have therefore made a few green Pokeblocks which will enhance Smartness. The contest is split into two parts. The first part is called primary judging and this is where the condition of your Pokemon plays a role. The higher the condition, the more the audience will like your Pokemon. The second part is called secondary judging and this involves using your moves to impress mainly the judge but also the audience. There are three other trainers that you must compete against. You can see how well the audience likes the Pokemon on display by the number of hearts popping up over their heads. Now it's time for the second part of the contest. Each move yields a base number of hearts, or points if you will. Several moves also has a secondary effect like making the Pokemon nervous or startling them so that they lose hearts. I'm opening up with Hidden Power. This move can be used several times in a row without boring the judge. 
Usually you should avoid using the same move two times in a row. If the category of the move you are using matches the category you are competing in, the audience will be impressed and you get extra hearts. You can use moves of other categories too, but they won't impress the audience and therefore won't yield extra hearts. You see there that Ninkata used Leech Life and that startled my swallow, thus making it lose 3 hearts. C Dot just used to move in the beauty category and that didn't go over well with the audience. When someone makes a move that gets the audience really excited, that is when the applause bar is filled up, that Pokemon will receive lots of extra hearts. Now it's time for the second round of appeals. So far Swellow is in third place. Some moves will work well if they are performed first and some moves will work well if the other Pokemon did well before you. Things are therefore always changing during a contest and what might look like an easy win in the second or third round might turn into a loss by the end of the fifth and final round. Time for the third round and Swallow is so far in the lead. A truck might therefore be a good move to use since it can make all Pokemon after it nervous. However, that doesn't always work as you can see here. Sometimes, if the perfect combination of moves is performed, you can get a huge amount of hearts, just like Seedot did right now. If a single exclamation point appears over the judge when you perform a move, then you could perform a combo in the next round if you choose the right move. Any such moves will be written in red if you happen to have them in your moveset. Thank you. 
Now the points from the primary judging and the secondary judging will be put together to determine the winner. Swallow didn't make it this time, but if you should happen to win the contest, you will be awarded with a contest ribbon. You can then move up one rank with the same Pokemon in the same category. Depending on your Pokemon's moveset, you can enter it in several different contest categories. Some moves are better suited than others for contests. If you like, you can choose to catch and train up a separate team of Pokemon which is purely meant to be a contest team. On your way out of the contest hall, you can choose to give an interview about your performance.